Look at the water. So beautiful. So peaceful. This has to be one of the worst documentaries I've ever seen. I'm going a different channel. Here we go. Property Wildlife, Deer Edition. The following presentation is brought to you by Optimum Nutrition. Get some. And by America. When the world's got problems, we've got firepower. Hello, and welcome back to another great episode of Property Wildlife. Today, we will be focusing on the white-tailed deer on my 20 acres here. Now, over the period of the last couple months, I have filmed and studied this animal quite frequently. The white-tailed deer is a very, very interesting animal. It has great hearing, great smell, and has great sight, although it is colorblind. It is also very fast, and it's pretty smart, too. That is why the white-tailed deer is one of the most sought-after game animals in all of North America. Now, I will take you on a walk around my property and show you some signs of deer. Now, it might be hard to see, but you can see this trail right here, and uh, there's a farm field over there, and the deer come from the farm field across the creek, and they come up this trail, and it leads all the way that way, and uh, there's a bunch of others going off of it. But here's the main trail, and uh, you just gotta find these spots where the deer pattern themselves, and you place a stand up there. And this year, my brother got two deer from that stand because uh, we were able to scout the area out. And you just big trails go up that way, and you have that one right there. And actually, you'll be seeing a deer on film from this spot. And uh, it's a good area, right by the water and stuff, right where they cross. So that's where the deer come, and you just gotta gotta look for their trails and outsmart them. One thing bucks like to do is uh, find trees, and they'll make what we call rubs on the trees, and uh, they'll take their antlers and they'll just scrape up and down the trees, and then they'll leave their scent and all, stuff all over the tree, and it'll be kind of like a warning sign to other bucks in the area telling them, hey, this is my territory. So uh, this year, we had an active guy in here, and uh, you can say, see that he tore up this tree pretty good. And then also, this one over here. And uh, one thing about the rubs is that you can tell how big the deer is by the size of the rub, but you can like kind of guess that they would be a bigger deer if uh, the bigger the tree is, the bigger the deer is going to be. So if you see a li little tree like this, that's not going to be as big. But if you go find a bigger tree and there's a bigger rub, that means a bigger buck. So uh, you also pad in your stands around that and uh, wait for them to come in. Okay, now here we have another good sign of deer. We got some deer poop. Kind of looks like raisins or what have you, but it is a good sign of a deer that they are around and they say that this stuff looks pretty old 
What did they say? The best way to find out how old the deer poop is is to eat it. So I'm going to have a piece. Hmm. Stings the nostrils. I say that stuff's pretty old, but it tastes good. Kind of going off what I said earlier about the rubs. Um, you can see here we got one on this tree, and then there's a couple more back, back in this area. And at the corners of our property, which would be here and here, down there on the edge of the pine forest, uh, during the rut, there was about, which is about like a two to three week span out here, this huge deer. It had to be like 15, 16 points or something. It was out here and like it just destroyed the corners, like twigs everywhere and branches were just falling down. Like it just destroyed it, like left its scent everywhere. So it, everyone knew that that was his territory and like he had the whole area out here. So which is pretty cool, seeing like I don't know, just the, the destruction, like the motivation they have, I guess. But this is going off uh, the rubs and everything and. You know, during the rut, the deer kind of lose their minds, especially the bucks. You never really see them any other time of the year, but, like, they pop out, and when they do, um, that's your chance to hunt them, and that's why most hunting is done during the rut, because that's the best time. We can talk about, like, all the signs and stuff of deer, but deer also have to few, face a few challenges, and one of those is coyotes. You can see a uh, big coyote print right there, and... Coyotes weren't a big factor out here until like I'd say five years ago, and since then you could there's a noticeable difference in the deer out here. Uh, less deer coming less frequently, but uh, like even right here just now, I noticed that there's coyote poop in there. So I mean, they're they're definitely out here, and uh, it's a challenge that you got to deal with coyotes. But then you got to take them out too, because uh, they're just they're just multiplying and they're everywhere. So. You know, deer, deer really aren't threatened, well, deer aren't scared of them being eat, hunted and eaten by them, but they're definitely threatened, and uh, we could tell that. Another thing that's hurt our hunting out here is that there's ATVers on the property next to us, and they just tore that place up, and that was a place where deer could come on our property from that way, and, like, they have a little hiding spot. So ever since the ATVers have been over there, just, they destroyed the place, and deer haven't been flown from that way so there's been a few challenges out here but for the most part deer pretty healthy out here and uh, there's a good population